Well, the obvious question, how's that mean? feel a lot better. I feel a lot better. Uh, moving around a lot today. Uh, felt really good. Dr. Luber really, uh, every, he said everything went great, and uh, I feel great, and so um, excited about Saturday. Can you describe to us exactly what, what the procedure was? Um, I think they just went in and just cleaned, cleaned up my knee a little bit. Uh, that's, like I said, Dr. Luber did a really good job of uh, just get me ready to go back on the field Saturday. Do you know if it was meniscus, MCL? I think HL, meniscus sounds uh, familiar. Left or right? Left. Left. Gradual or did it just kind of happen over time? Uh, no, I, I remember when it happened in the game. Uh, wasn't too, too bad though. Played through it, you know. All, all movement, you feel? Yeah, feel great. Right? Feel great. Yeah, Dr. Luber did a great job. And uh, Mr. Pat uh, really been re rehabbing hard and it's been going really good. What's up with the sleeve? Is that just. Like, what is that Style do? points. I'm just kidding. No, they, they said just to keep swelling down, I think, is why the reason I'm wearing it. Uh, but no, no really in particular reason. Is it just a during while you're practicing thing, or are you wearing the sleeve full time? Um, I'm kind of wearing the sleeve full time, but uh, they shaved my leg hair, so it kind of gets cold, <laughs> so that's why that's really why I'm wearing it. <laughs> what, what do you do mentally Saturday night? You know, when you take your first rep, you turn it up, feel, and you got to be hit on that thing, which I guess would be the first time since this happened. Yeah, uh, I'm, think, I'm fully confident in it. You know, moving around today, really just – Confidence boost, you know, that uh, feels good, just like it did before, and so I'm, I'm confident in it. I want to ask you about your thoughts on Grant deciding to leave the program yesterday. Yeah, um, I really wish him nothing but the best because uh, he's definitely going to be a special player wherever he goes. You know, you hate to see one of your buddies go uh, because he definitely was one of, my, one of my better buddies on the team because, you know, you spend a lot of time with him. But uh, he has big things ahead of him, and God has a plan for him, and I'm excited to see what, what that is for sure. Auburn's defensive front compared to anything you've seen so far? Um, they're really talented. You know, I think Mizzou is probably really talented too, and so uh, I'm really excited to be able to play those guys. They seem to be really good players. Have you guys thought at all about the name image likeness stuff that's come out in the past few days? I heard about it, but I haven't really read into it enough to really have an opinion on it. Uh, but I just – I kind of know what it is, but don't really have an opinion on it. Is that the kind of thing that people in the locker room talk about or not really? Not really. You know, in a game week, you're really most excited about the game that's upcoming and the opportunity that's at hand for sure. So no big sponsorship deals yet? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the first time you ever had any knee issues or any kind of injury at all? Yeah, this is uh, – I had a little thumb hurt in high school, but that wasn't really major. And But this, this was – wasn't really major either, and so I've been really blessed to not be majorly injured through my athletic career, and I'm thankful for that. You mentioned you knew what happened. What did happen on that play? Um, it was a quarterback run, and I kind of got tackled out of bounds, and uh, I was the guy. I rolled over top of the guy, and then I was going to get up, and he was still rolling and kind of rolled on top of me. When I tried to get up, it just kind of popped a little bit, and you know, I just thought, hey, man, my knee popped, and and I went back to the next play. I could tell there's some there's something wrong with me, but it wasn't it wasn't enough to like, ow, this hurts really bad. I'm gonna stop playing, you know. Do you, do you tell anybody in case they try to pull you, or do you just shut up and, and go back to business? Um, no, I kind of shut up, and it was close to halftime. And so at halftime, I, I told them, and they kind of checked me out, and they said, um, it's not – you're no tendons, I think, is what they said. You're not at serious risk to really really hurt yourself. So if you can go, you can go ahead and go. And so uh, that's what we did. What was – what did you have to do for rehab? Were there any exercises for it? Um, they have a cool, a lot of cool crazy gadgets in there, you know, with the stem, and they, they heat you up and then put you on the ice and game ready. And uh, But really I think the focus of it was to keep my quad from getting uh, weak. And they said if my quad can stay strong, then uh, it will keep everything moving good. It's not a fancy question, but, you know, we watch you play and – you get to the edge in a hurry, but you seem to find a sixth gear sometimes when you get out there on the edge. I mean, describe that. Um, I've always been blessed when able to run pretty fast, you know, and so uh, when, I, when I see some open field or if I see a hole, I can stick my head in. I, I usually try to do that, and uh, at that point, it's a foot race, and my mom always doesn't like me losing foot races, and so I, I, try, to, I try to win those for sure. Do you think sometimes you surprise the defenders with, with that extra burst that you have? I think sometimes you can tell that they're kind of caught off guard, but, you know, uh, I think at the beginning of the game they really see it, and then they, they kind of are more cautious of it throughout the game, and so then at that point you've got to start uh, trying to make some people miss. Do you think that causes them maybe, maybe under-assessing your speed? Does it cause them to take bad angles? Um, yeah, sometimes. I think if a bad angle is – uh, if they take a bad angle, then that's definitely a chance for me to make a big play. You know, you don't, and you want to um, make the most of those chances when you get them because they don't come a lot and often uh, in the SEC for sure. I don't think we got a chance to ask you about this. We had Mingo in here a few yeah. weeks ago and talking about your speed. He said he can beat you in a race. He can out. Oh you yeah, all of this oh stuff. yeah, I saw that, and he's. I talked to him about it 
Y'all gotta know. I got, I'm definitely faster than Mingo. Come on, come on. No, we played in high school, and he's he's definitely a special player. You know, he's in, in um, playing against him in high school. I knew he was really really good. I knew he was a super talented player, but um, seeing him here at Ole Miss and getting to be his teammate, he's also a really really hard worker. And I think that really goes a long way, and uh, that's one of the reasons why he's so good. Conversely, do you think you've evolved as a passer, even though it's just kind of four games of game action? Yeah, you know, uh, as a as a kind of a young cat going in there, uh, first game I consider yourself young, you know, and I think you can use that for a couple of plays when you're young, but once you're in there a couple of plays, you're just playing football at that point. And so, um, yeah, definitely been working on it, definitely getting better at it, you know. Um, in high school, the windows are bigger, and so getting used to the smaller windows and the better athletes on the defensive side of the ball. Um, but, yeah, I think I have. I've gotten better.